today we're on a call about a dishwasher soap dispenser. I said it's not opening. I guess it's not opening during the cycle. It has to be off for it to close. It won't close if the, if the timer is not in the off position. It's a good tip for you guys. It's also supposed to open about right in there. Never opens. Hmm. Because it's supposed to shoot open. But it never does. So, I guess we'll take all these screws out and see what's going on. Let me go turn the breaker off. Make sure the power's off so you don't get zapped. Just gonna take all these screws out. Oh, what's going on, Skid? Did you take your dishwasher up? Huh? You take your dishwasher up. <laughs> and last screw. Once you get the last screw out, this panel will just pop right out. That way we can take a look. Well, the first thing I see is this. This was loose. This cover goes over this, this this box right here. So I will try to snap that back on. Maybe that got in the way of things. Other than that, I don't see anything really out of the ordinary. And this is your. This is the soap dispenser lid that's what goes down this is what triggers it all right I just snapped that black piece back over the uh, that control panel there it's for the the buttons here well this dog's really watching maybe he'll be able to fix it next time but nothing looks broken all right hold your horses now clam this felt a little loose and I'm going to take this timer off and you're going to see the spring is not on on this part here. Just two screws. The dishwasher timer will slide out. Oh, let me pull the knob off. The knob on the other side just pulls right off. Just pull it right out. Now we can pull the timer off. There's going to be a spring under there. I'm going to carefully move it off because this stuff can be delicate. All right, the spring is on there, but it's it's loose. But what's going down is this has to be over that. And I'm sure there's supposed to be a screw or something in there. So we gotta put this back over there. Now there's some tension. That's what we want. There's no tension. And another thing guys, if the uh, the detergent, the soap detergent door isn't closing and you put it in the off position and it's still not closing, usually this little piece right here will be broken off just the tension from the spring will just snap it off. I mean, it's cheap plastic, you know, that's what GE does nowadays. So you'll have to replace this whole, this whole piece here or the whole door. So yeah, if you get the, my soap door won't close, usually this will be snapped off. I've had to do a bunch of these out here. Well, dudes, I guess no screw does go in there. I look down in there and there's no threads and I've tried to put some screws in there to see if I can just hold it down, but it's not holding, but the tension is there. That's what I was missing, the tension. So it somehow slipped off of that, this piece here. So I'm going to put the timer in and, and let it roll. I don't know how it got jarred. Maybe it jarred and popped out, who knows. Oh yeah, that's good tension. 
So I guess the timer just lays over it and holds it in. So we'll pop the screws back in here and put the that back on the cover and see what happens. All right, Bruce, we've got the cover back on. I'm still putting the screws in. Just wanted to mention, just be real ca careful with this. And if you feel any kind of forceful or any kind of tension, it's because of this, you got to get this through the hole here. Just take your time though, and not to knock this off because this thing can get confusing if you knock that out. But if you make a mistake, so what? Mistakes breed experience, and experience breeds wisdom. Make all the mistakes you can, man. That's how I learned. All right, we got our cover back on. Now we just gotta throw, throw our knob back in. Sometimes you gotta play with it, make sure it's on right. Give it a little, there we go. Now it has to be in the off position or the door won't close. Okay, that's off. So it should close. There we go. The tension feels better too. There was no tension. All right, now I'm just gonna turn the dial. I'm gonna just turn this dial and it should, the door should open right around this section here. So. Boom, there we go. She is fixed. Now we'll release the soap and wash the dishes and stuff. So yeah, dude, there was no tension on that white lever. So just check your spring, you know, remove, remove the timer, check that spring, make sure you got tension on that lever. And sometimes that piece that's holding the spring, like I said earlier, would be broken off and this won't close at all. It'll just keep flopping open. I'll test it one more time. I think we're good to go. Test number two. Slowly turn it. Boom! All right. Super sweet. That's a good puppy. We fixed your dishwasher, bro. Now you can wash your dishes. All right, that was a fairly easy fix. Just an old loose spring lever. But uh, I guess it just came loose from opening and letting the door slam down. Who knows, but it's fixed now. And again, guys, just take your time with this dishwasher stuff. You know, things always come loose. You can open up a can of worms. Something gets loose, you can't get it back in, or you don't remember where it went. I've been there, done that. And if you make a mistake, so what? Okay? So what? Just go out there and just keep ham hammering away, and you'll get better and better. And uh, some guys are asking how they can uh, support the channel. You can support the channel by shopping through the Amazon link below. It's at no extra cost to you. It's not going to charge you anymore. All you're doing is shopping through my link. Get you a tool, uh, a cool new tool, or buy a Christmas presents, whatever you need off Amazon, and I'll receive a small commission. That's how you guys can support the channel. All right, see you on the next video. Late.